Hey, Dog Nation, I'm Brandon Adams. Of course, we got uh, recruiting insider Jeff Sintel here. We're live. Perfect day. Coke okay with Royal Thribbon. Independence of the Seas landed here just a little bit ago, and the uh, day is getting going, and what a beautiful day it already is. Really perfect weather here in the Bahamas. You could not ask for much more, and you've already seen some of our Dog Nation are on the ship with us, and I think everybody's ready to go for what is going to be a great day here at, not even a great day, it's going to be a perfect day here at Perfect Day Coke okay. Jeff, I know you're excited about it as well. Right now, I'm mentally cataloging our best live streams ever. I got to go 2022 Lucas Oil Stadium 1, 2018 Rose Bowl 2, maybe 2017 Georgia Park 3, but this is a solid top five of the most impressive venues, locales, feelings, vibes we've ever done one of these from. There's some big news with UJ recruiting. I want to talk to you about that there in a moment. Uh, but first, we've had a night. We had a great dinner last night. We've had some fun. Uh, what has been your experience been like thus far on Independence of the Seas? I think it's just like meeting all of the dog people, our Dog Nation crew that's here. You know, we swapped stories at dinner. We had some icebreakers. We talked about, we even had a fun over-under, like how many more years do you think Kirby Swamp will coach at Georgia? Yeah. I saw some people packing away the entrees that, the, when we left the port in Port Canaveral, that was always fun. I got two dinner entrees last night, by the way. Two. You're going to set the precedent right at the beginning of the week with your waiter when you go to the dining room of, hey, I'm going to be eating a lot of food. Go ahead and bring me two entrees. Let's, I'm going to make it a surf and turf, you know, pretty much, you know, on my own, no matter what. I think that's, you just got to sort of set the tone with that when the cruise begins. That's like Kirby Smart and five-star quarterbacks, right? You wouldn't right. bring them in by the multiples, right? Except I actually eat my food. Like, I actually use my five-star. You use both of your forks on both That's there. right. I will say this as well. You know, it's been kind of fun to hear from some of the Royal Caribbean staff. And the question they're all asking is to some of the crew members here of, hey, where would all these Georgia Bulldogs people come from? So, like, we're used to Dog Nation invasions taking over South Bend or taking over – you know, various towns. Uh, it's nice to know that there's a little bit of a dog nation invasion on board here with Independence of the Seas there as well. Kind of fun to watch the reaction to so many of the Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas crew members about just how many Georgia fans are on board the ship right now. Yeah, I got two quick stories. One, I'm in here and somebody goes, what is this, George Bulldogs cruise or something like that? He's like, meet all you people here. And I was like, I was like, give us a few weeks, few days. It'll feel like it. The second one, one of our guests, he actually booked his cruise and it was like, Okay, Georgia wins this national championship. I'm going on the Dog Nation cruise. And as soon as Keely Ringo was strutting in that end zone, he had his credit card whipped out and was ready to join us. That's uh, great to hear. Well, speaking of quick, obviously it's going to be a great day here today, but there is a little bit of business to take care, a little bit of work that must be done. You know, Georgia gets a big commit here since we've been in the Bahamas. Justin Rath, a guy who was at G-Day at the time, a Notre Dame commit, high profile, one of the kind of the cool moments of G-Day, decommitting from Notre Dame while he was on campus there at Georgia. This is a get for new quarterbacks coach Brand Brown. You know, you've written about this at dognation.com, but what is, I guess, the aftermath here of the red decision? It's certainly the kind of thing that gets Georgia fans excited right now. Yeah, I guess I guess there's going to be uh, less room in the vessel, less room in the ship. Not the boat. we got to get this stuff right when we're sailing on uh, Independence of the Seas, but there's less room in for quarterbacks now. You've got Marcus Washington Jr., now you got Thomas Red. Brandon, this is a longer, bigger, more physically developed corner. That's what George is looking at. This was a good get for Fran Brown, but I think a little bit of it is impacted by Notre Dame. Marcus Freeman, the same methodology as that was Sweeney did about, hey, man, if you're committed to us and you're taking your official business, you might as well be decommitted. And it's very rare in all these years with Kirby Smart where we're in the middle of G-Day, we're in the middle of a game. A recruit committed to another school, at least publicly, is on his official visit. He decommits right in the middle of G-Day. And you knew it was kind of only a matter of time before Thomas Rhett uh, shows up, you know, shows up at the University of Georgia after that. I mean, it was really Georgia had been dogging him, and I mean dogging that in the best way, D-A-W-G, uh, since January, December, about, hey, come be a part of this. And this is a Georgia program that stopped. She just keeps going up. I think the big picture thing is I think it moves Georgia back to number three in the country in the 2023 recruiting rank. You and I have the that are Bay, the outside linebackers coach, freshly anointed as a the system, the impact he's already making. And I think a lot of Georgia fans have learned a lot, like a lot about him. In the case of Brown here, it's a chance for him to introduce himself to Georgia fans too. A big recruiting win kind of adds to his cachet as a member of this coaching staff right now. I think this is his second one he's put on the board. You got to remember Antoine Jackson. No. But now the last two recruits have been on the defensive side of the ball. The last two publicly committed recruits, that's Gabe Harris. 
Now that's Justin Red out of Las Vegas, Nevada. And I mean, really, when you're looking for just class, there's a lot to like. It's getting better. And Brennan, the best days for Georgia recruiting, I think, are going to come this weekend in Vegas as well. Not just a lot to like about Red, but a lot to I care about perfect day, Coco K. That's where we're on the scene for today. We're keeping our eyes on what's happening with Georgia football, but we're enjoying the very first ever Cruise with Dog Nation. We wish you could be here with us, but if you can't be, we'll try to give you some of the sights and sounds. Now, we may be a little different in our delivery here. Be patient with us. Some little bit of internet stuff here and there, but we're going to try to show you as much as we possibly can. So stay close to dognation.com as the NFL draft approaches. As more recruiting news like the big commitment of Justin Rat unfolds, we'll be all over. Say goodbye to you for now. We'll see you back here again on board Independence Seas from the Bahamas very soon. Thanks for being a part of what we're doing here at Dog Nation.